So hi there, I'm Carolyn, trichologist here at Absolute Hair Health Clinic. So I help people with hair loss, hair thinning, scalp conditions, and these days there's a whole uh, variety of accumulating autoimmune conditions that are contributing to all types of the hair loss and scalp conditions. So the way I work is addressing um, the person as a whole, you could say holistic, and I would use combination therapy. So, you know, I understand we've got hair or scalp concerns, but I need to look at the human as well and see what's um, happening there. So we're addressing both symptoms and causes. So this is where nutrition plays a really big role. So as a trichologist, I've studied nutrition on various levels you know, over 25 years. And you know, I quickly realized that food is a big part of our problems these days. So my mission to help people is I need to teach them about food, but also I have to lean on nutritional supplementation. So if I'm gonna ask someone to take supplementation, I need to know exactly what's in it. So everything just like our food is compromised. So sometimes you're taking supplements that could do you more harm than good. So in my research to find real supplements, I came across a company called Modia. Seems like I've been with Modia for um, I think nine years now. So it's quite a long journey. And today uh, I got the pleasure of talking with um, Matthew Riddell who introduced me to Modia all that long time ago. So it's so exciting that we're still in touch. Uh, you've helped me through so many years of, of training on the Modia products. I remember you answered all my difficult questions and provided me with so many resources in the beginning. And I feel like I've become very affluent in the Modia difference and how to use Modia now as a practitioner. So welcome, Matthew, and thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much for having me. I'm very excited to be on here with you. Fantastic. So let's get straight into it and start by sharing Modia. Okay, what is Modia today? What are the difference? Why are we so excited about Modia as a company? And I guess how it's evolved over this time. Yeah, well, I suppose the, the easiest way to answer that is, so when I came across all of this, my background, I was a personal trainer specialized in, in difficult cases of like rehab and weight loss. So that's where I got started with all of this and kind of like, I think that's why we sort of hit it off so well is because I had a really keen interest in all the different things I can do to help people and diet and exercise and lifestyle was certainly a huge part of that. But it was like, I, I was dealing with people who had really challenging issues and I had to look outside of just the normal of like eat well, move well. It's like, we have to supplement well. And that's how I started to discover all of this. And, and, you know, when you're the local personal trainer, I want you to imagine this. Everybody wants to try and sell you their stuff and their products. And I had quite honestly, I would say, seen it all. And I, I just couldn't see why a lot of these products, why I would recommend them, like, how is it going to benefit my clients? Because that, like you, my number one interest is like, I need to be able to, with authenticity and knowing that it is the best thing I can recommend, any product that I'm going to suggest to someone, because usually they would, if I suggested that people would take it, I need to know that it was excellent. So started doing my homework on the products themselves. And right from the very get go, I was given all the info to check out and, and discovered there's two real differences, in my opinion, after all of that, you know, this is, I think, I started as a customer for two years in 2005, took the products for myself, liked them, thought this is actually really good. It works for me to work for others. Um, and in that period of time, started doing said homework and got to a point after about 18 months, people had started asking. Me. And so it was like, look, this may or may not work for you. And I saw it improve people dramatically. So the difference that I can put it down to is two things. One is product quality. Uh, just as I had gotten started as a customer with Modea, the, the products, we had the whole pan pharmaceutical debacle go on in 2000. I think it was 2006. And all of a sudden, anyone who was around, you know, taking supplements in 2006 would know everything disappeared from the shelves. Big product quality issue. Uh, we did not lose a single product today because their, their, their standards are so high. They have what they call, it's a perfect 10 score of how they create products. So every single nutritional ingredient, before it winds up in the bottle that turns up for you, it's gone through multiple quality checks. It gets checked for purity. So they use thin layer chromatography to test every single ingredient on a genetic level. Is it what it says it is and nothing else? How You've pure is it? You've shown me that um, graph. It's yeah. fascinating, yeah. 
because the other thing too is, you know, I've, and I've actually had the, the twice actually gone to the factory where a lot of the products are made. Now, there's some that are made in Australia, like our probiotic is an Australian made product, but there's some that are made in the US as well. Now, the, the product quality, like they have, when you walk into their factory and it's huge, I think it's like four football fields or something crazy. But when you go in there, there's an entire quarantine area, which is none of that is allowed into the factory until it's been tested. And the interesting thing is, there's a percentage of ingredients that get rejected. And that's the difference, is the fact of what they're willing to send back. Because <laughs> that stuff that they send back, because I've, I've walked to the factory and talked to them all, and they're like, yeah, I'm like, what do they do with that stuff they send back? It's like, well, they don't throw it out, it gets used somewhere else. That's the <laughs> so, get in, in mode their products. So I would say the first thing is on the nutritional side of things, which was my first interest. Again, I was more interested in what can I take to improve my you know myself and recommend to others so with the nutritional side of things it's purity and potency that's really all anyone cares about one of the most common questions i get asked is is it organic and the answer is organic is a standard that is different in every single country and modair operates in 26 of them this is my opinion not modair's opinion uh, every single country is different and often like in some countries it's it can be organic if it has an organic ingredient and when it comes to, to that particular question, and it can have a whole bunch of other rubbish in it, is what, what are we trying to achieve by the words organic, like the buzzword, and that's what it is to me, organic, is this, is that it doesn't, that, it, that it's been grown in a natural environment without the use of pesticides and chemicals, right? That's what we want. That's one of the things it gets tested for. So every ingredient to, an, to a 100% standard is checked for heavy metals, pesticides, everything you can imagine. So the product you're actually getting is excellent. Like it, it, to me, it adheres to its own standard that I think goes well above and beyond. So that's on the nutritional side of things. I came around the whole personal care and, and which is now huge in skincare uh, later, just because again, trainer supplementation, that was my level of interest. But realizing and doing homework and, and, and again, listening to people far, far more educated and qualified than I am when it comes to the role of, and I'm talking like Dr. Peter Dingle, there's a whole bunch of them who specialized in environmental toxicology. And there is tens of thousands of chemicals used in products, uh, in commerce in general, over 80,000, where they're not tested for safety on the human body and our experience, not for hormonal, not for like, anything. So... Um, I think those are things that are best avoided. And I think Modair of last count has over 3,000 chemicals that they just will not use. Like it's a very good ban list. And, a stand and it started with simple stuff like sodium oral sulfate, propylene glycol, uh, diethanolamine, things that maybe 20 years ago, everyone was happy to use. Now less companies are using them. But the good part, I guess, my experience with the company has been that they're always pioneering. I want, to, I want to be aligned and use products from a company that's doing the right thing before they have to, before the market says we don't want this anymore, just as the right thing to do. So that would be the difference for me in my experience. I guess to be fair, how long, because before it was Modir, it was, um, I can't even think of the name now, New Ways. And back then, they were, they were around for more than 20 years then. So in a total, how long has this company been using 32, only 32 years? So it started out with shampoo and conditioner in 1987. Wow. Uh, that's how it started with a bottle of shampoo and it grew from there. And this was back in the, in the and again, having known a lot of the history of, of the company, this was back when like no one cared about, if you told someone in the eighties, hey, there's harmful chemicals in products, people looked at you like you were wearing a tinfoil hat. Yeah. <laughs> like, like you're crazy. Now we know different, but this is the thing is that you know, it started out with a few little things, but this is the innovative engine that if your goal was to, the goal was always, and it still is now, is to help people live clean. Um, and that started out with removing chemicals. And then they realized, well, look, there's all, we're missing, uh, we're missing, you know, basic nutrients. And good health to me is, you've got to look at two things. You've got to look at what am, what am I deficient in? And making sure you can top that back up. So that's the first holistic wellness question people ask like when I go and see my doctor the first thing he does is test all of my levels for vitamins and minerals that's the first and hormones that's the first things that he does and on the other side is well, what are my toxic in so the two questions that if you're looking at holistic wellness is what am I deficient in so that I can top that up and what am I what am I toxic that I need to remove out of my world and that's the two 
the two sides of the wellness par par paradigm that we that we try to you know you can't be perfect but it's it's good to to do everything doable that's reasonable to improve your health with those two things so if you can drop out a whole bunch of harmful and you know potentially questionable ingredients and at the same time be boosting up your, your nutritional profile your health will benefit no no risk no two ways about it and, and it starts because everyone always asks me what are the things i should take and so okay i can't make a recommendation to you but i can make a i can tell you what i do for myself and and minerals again, is the so first. What you, what you, when you're providing a product automatically it's what you should be avoiding absolutely yeah totally uh, the number of people that well, it's like the number of people I have witnessed, and this is just, again, it's anecdotal evidence. It's like, I'm just, I, I, again, maybe it's just the simple factor. If you look at someone, you go, have you tried everything? They're like, yeah, I have. It's like, cool. Well, why don't we try swapping out some safer products and getting on some good nutrition and see what happens. Let the body do its work. Let's remove the interference and put in lots of good stuff, see what happens. And remarkably by just treating the, like, like you know, that holistic wellness, most people see really positive improvements. Um, just across the board, it's, that question is like, you know, is it miracle stuff? It's like, no, no, no. It's solving a simple problem, like dropping out as much as possible. And I don't believe it's possible to be perfect in the modern world, but you can do your very best and, and doing our very best to top up the, the nutrients. And the question, you know, I've talked to Dr. Peter Dingle about this at length. He's a phenomenal man. And it's one of the most dangerous statements, I think, that in the modern world people can make is, yeah, but I get everything from my food. It's like, are you sure? Because <laughs> I don't believe that anymore. And, and you'll find a lot of very credible people now in agreement that you need to be supplementing your diet because in between food being grown and you receiving food, there's a multi-trillion dollar industry that is processing and refining and there's an agrochemical. There's a lot of stuff that happens in between tree <laughs> or, or paddock and plate and, and it's not necessarily for the benefit of our health as much as it is for the longevity of the product so things like you know antioxidants are another thing that you know i think might have fantastic antioxidants with all the things that you would want like a c e um, pine bark turmeric i mean people don't realize but marine maritime pine bark the ingredient this is not a product claim this is just a fact maritime white pine is what cured scurvy that's how they originally discovered that Ah, and then scurvy is where your body just falls to bits from an absence of vitamin C, right? You, you, you see all sorts of issues, but that, that killed more sailors in the 17, 16 and 1700s than cannonballs. <laughs> so, you know, that one little thing of being able to go, well, maybe we should look at that. And again, uh, that's why British sailors were called limeys because they started throwing, well, we'll use citrus fruits to keep vitamin C levels high. Now that nutritional medicine. And... Again, you use as that kind of ingredient. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a potent antioxidant, but interesting. Yeah. Uh, with a lot of the herbs and things, um, there's a few products there that I love. You know, well-being, um, and your stress, health, and there you are using a lot of herbs. And just going back to the toxins before, you can get organic herbs grown in the wrong country that are not tested for heavy metals. So you're taking something that you think is good for you, and actually you're topping up you know, arsenic or mercury or what a cadmium or whatever it may be, you know, it's, to me, it's just so, I don't know, heartening to know that maybe you're testing that, that what you're getting is, is pure and, and, and safe. I, I can't comment on what any other company does, but what I can say is this is like, especially like a lot of people are buying uh, like different herbal products where unless they are thin, thin, thin layer chromatography testing for heavy metals and, and impurities. I look at where some of the, the herbs actually come from, and, and I'll give you a perfect example, right? So uh, you, you, much like I do, love the product Green Key. Right? That's a, a product that we have had yes. for. It, it's one of everyone's favorites because you're looking at 27 different um, super greens from everything from like uh, spirulina, like all of your different it's a food supplement yeah. it, it is it is so beneficial for people to use a product like that to alkalize your body to to just fire up all the different processes but here's something interesting in the time that i've been with modea which is said 15 years in total 13 as a doing what i do now 
But in my time, I think three different times. Now, bearing in mind, Green Key is probably in the top five bestsellers globally for the, for the company. Three separate times that I've been involved with Modare, they have pulled that product. Now, imagine if you're a company, you've got a best-selling product that everybody wants. Now, I want, now, the reason was they cannot source the ingredients to a standard that, that was acceptable, right? So, but I noticed that every single other company still had theirs. And the yeah. things that, you know, it's just like, well, how are they doing that? And the answer is, well, I don't know, but I know for a fact that, you know, if, if the company was unable to, if Moto was unable to, to get the ingredients to a satisfactory standard, well, that answers it for me. Because it's like, I would, I personally would rather have to go without than have something that could be of a substandard quality. And trust me, in the position I'm in, you know, I get phone calls like, why are they out of this particular product? Why? And it's like, well, this is why. And it's because of a supply issue. And it's not because they've got a bad supply chain. It's just because the standard has to be accurate. The hardest time for products was actually after the GFC. When that occurred in 2009, there was a lot of stock out. Just little farms went bankrupt. And it's like, well, if you can't, if you can't get it, that's the challenge. So I think they do a really good job to keep the amount of products that they've got they in stock um, and maintain quality. And actually a recording, um, I'm happy to give it to you actually, that is of our a factory tour that I did in December last year. And they're talking about, it's nothing more frustrating for the company to be out of say liquid bias or collagen, or, which is one that happens or, or any of this, but it's simply keeping up to the demand for unique products. Well, thank you so much for talking about Green Key because it is one of my um, main products because, you know, we're big on pH and alkalizing. Mm -hmm. And as I pointed out, it is made of, I, I've always said 25. So you topped me there, 27. It's 25 or 27. It, it, um, the number actually is a sliding scale sometimes because they're, they're constantly reformulating and improving yeah. that. So. No, but it's, it's, it's wonderful. I guess, um, you know, about health and everything about, you know, we've got to top up the nutrition because, you know, we're getting you know, all this toxic overload. I guess the, the key that I'm trying to find is balance. And I find that yes. that green key, it helps to just balance people while we work on their food. And it was really, sure. really interesting that people don't understand that the main thing missing from the soil, organic and not organic, is the minerals. Okay, so my next favorite yeah. product is the mineral drink because we are all minerally deficient. The human body, at a cellular level, so all of the cells require 60 to 80 essential minerals per day, every day. It is not in the yep. soil. I grow my own organic veggies and my soil is not mineralized. So um, talk a little bit about the mineral drink. It is one of my favorite things as well. That's actually the very first product I ever purchased 15 years ago was the mineral drink. And that was what actually opened me up because I was actually, again, a bit of a reformed skeptic. I was of the opinion of if I get good food, then that's, that's that. It'll, you know, I don't need to supplement, you know, I get everything from my food. I eat well, like that was me. I, that's why I have such a soft spot where it's like, I get it where you're coming from. However, our food is grown in soils that have been used and used and used. And Australia in particular has the, the worst soils in, in the world. There's a few exceptions to some regions. However, in general, we have pretty poor soils. And so you need, you know, when it comes to minerals, so two things is what happens when you're mineral deficient? Well, I just ask everyone, okay, well, if you're deficient in calcium, what happens? You get, everyone knows what happens when you have a calcium deficiency. You have osteoporosis, you have osteoarthritis. Um, but a lot of people aren't aware of like what happens if you get a tin deficiency. Well, deficiencies in tin, in, in tin uh, I, I believe tin is the one that leads to deafness. You have, like, as in, there's all these issues that when you're deficient in certain minerals, it's not a short term thing, though. It's long term. Mm -hmm. We're talking 20 years is when you start to see the issue. The, the, the best way. Like I, micro elements that you wouldn't even think to classify as a mineral, but they are essential. Yeah. Well, we, you've got the big ones, right? Which is your, you know, your calcium, magnesium, zinc, all of these things. But our body requires lots and lots of different things. And sadly, it's, a, it's not a largely studied field because there's really no money in it. That's yeah. why. Um, it's, again, holistic wellness. It's, it's one of those. So with, with the mineral supplement, Moda has two of them. Um, one is a, the red bottle. It's the, natural, it's the mineral solutions. And that's, that's a really, really good product it's just it's it's a simple one where it's 
got everything you need and it tells you exactly the amounts in it. So we've got a lot of people who, you know, like uh, are practitioners that like to use that one. I personally have a soft spot for the blue bottle, which is the natural mineral drink. Now that comes from the Neidharding Moor in Austria. And it's a, if you want to Google Neidharding Moor Austria, it's remarkable that that particular region, but it has been known for the, you know, back before we had, I guess, a medical world that studied things, it was a known area where you'd go back to recover your health. Uh, I think even it was in the Napoleonic era, people were going up to this Neidharding Moor in Austria. And what it is, it's a glacial bowl where for thousands of years, all of these plants and herbs and all this flora has been deposited in a big peat bog. That's why when you get it, it looks a little bit like swamp water because I yeah. guess it technically is. But it was loaded like it with. <laughs> no, it doesn't taste like it. It tastes like nothing. But it's colloidal minerals. And what, what a colloidal mineral is this? The mineral that you're getting in that has actually passed through a plant meaning that it's one, I think it's 3,000 times smaller than an elemental mineral and there's no risk of toxicity. So you can take as much of it as you like, your body will use what it needs and just let go of the rest. And, and it's more absorbable know, as well. It's totally absorbable. It's, it's like, it's straight, I think 97% absorption rate is what the number I've been given. But this is to me, uh, the, the foundational product of everyone's supplemental regime and it works out at being like a dollar a day. It's, yeah. And for, for protection against deficiency, in my mind, is one of the, the best things you can do. And there's, there's no special claims with a, a, a mineral supplement. It's not trying to cure anything or fix anything other than baseline deficiency. Just, just getting in all the good things that you need in a holistic manner. It's all the minerals plus in a colloidal form micro trace stuff and all these different wonderful herbals so that's why usually people that that my experience was like took that and i'm like i've got more energy and i feel better yeah it's when I about, about the really... energy. people don't associate energy um with minerals but the other interesting point um and again we're not sort of prescribing or what have you but for what i do for women a big thing that i deal with is iron deficiency so iron deficiency more so ferritin deficiency I have people who will supplement with iron and it doesn't really do much. As soon as I put the mineral, the whole base of the minerals underneath to support the iron, bang, we get a result. It doesn't work. You know, there's other health issues as well, but it tends to be the most success I've ever had to putting the minerals in to support the iron. So just an interesting one for the women out there. I, I would agree. It's um, like if you, if someone once said, so it was actually Dr. James Chestnut, he's a Canadian chiropractor that's really one of the, the big allied wellness practitioners. He said, think of it like this, people are like plants. You know, we, we, if you had a sick plant come in, you're not going to try and do microsurgery on the leaves, you're going to ask yourself four questions. You, anyone who's a gardener knows this, it needs water, <laughs> which most people are dehydrated. It, it needs nutrition in the soil, right? Stick it out in the sunlight, like it's not going to hurt it for sure. Water, soil, water, nutrients, sunlight, and soil. And that comes down to, you know, what's the microbiome of that soil? Because anyone knows that if you do it like water, sunshine, um, and, and fertilizer, and the plant's still unwell, it's probably the soil. And that for humans is, is our microbiome. What's your gut health like? We've got, a, you know, around 800 to 1,000 species there. And, you know, I think antibiotic use is a great big experiment on long term health. Um, being way over prescribed it wrecked my health i had was given so many antibiotics for sinus problems that it just like i was a very unwell man and it was actually through continued like ongoing you know focus on gut health which is now the big the big rage right but in 2009 no one was talking about well, it. microbiome uh, was not a word back then <laughs> but now you know no, it's, it's really and, good that we understand you know the difference and the importance but it's, it's good that you bring that up Matt, because people don't realize that we're born with it, but the more you take mm. the antibiotics and are exposed to things, it's killing it off. Your body does not regenerate it. You have to regenerate it. So that's where I love another product in there is the probiotic. And the reason why is a lot of my clients when they come to see me are very unwell. Like, and I'm dealing with SIBO, candida, yeast overgrowth. So if you go in and you give someone a big bang probiotic, you could cause all sorts of problems. Whereas the Modir one, it's nice and gentle. I generally don't get anyone that's upset about it. You know, I've listened to all the, in the day, it was the CDs and DVDs about it, but can you share a bit more about the probiotic? 
Sure. So um, the first thing is like, what, why do you need them? And, and I say to, there's two ways. Like with, with, with your gut health, um, there's, there's certain strains that have been very well tested. Okay. And, and we know this because it was actually a the probiotic that Modair has was designed by a man named John Ellerman. He's a research scientist. It's an Australian made product. They isolate two strains that are the most hardy, resilient, and effective at pushing out the bad guys to allow the good guys to flourish. So those two strains alone do that very effectively. And it's, it's um, I think it's a Lafty L10 and they're, they're two lactobacillus strains. And the, the, the little sachet that you get has on one side, it's got the two strains. And then on the other side, because you've chopped the top off and mixed it in water, has a booster. And what you do is when you mix it in there, it, it's the only super symbiotic. So it's not just, you know, 30 billion bacteria. It actually comes with, as John Ellen would call it, a pack lunch. And it can <laughs> breathe out to anywhere upward of half a, half a trillion bacteria per serve. Now, I had used probiotics for a very long time. This is my experience only. And I found very little noticeable benefit from it. I'd ordered some from the States. Again, it was very expensive back then because they weren't a thing. Uh, I'd used lots of different brands and didn't notice anything. But this whole super symbiotic thing, that is very unique. And within six weeks, I had noticed a dramatic difference personally. So that was my personal experience. And I've seen that replicated with a lot of people where it seems like not a lot's working. Because there's a myth where if I take more strains, that would be better. But the research that, that John yeah. and Co, and he could explain it better than I can for sure. No, you're doing a great it's, job. <laughs> sometimes more is, is, you know, certain probiotic strains, you think they're good. But when mixed in, they can interfere and do all sorts of stuff. Exactly, so and that's that, what happens with, with some of my clients. So, And and with those two strains, I, I say to everyone like this, imagine if you've got, you know, like a Westfield in Carindale or something, there's 800 shops and shopkeepers. Those, that, and you have all the, the, the bacteria, and if you want, if someone wants to read a really good book on this, it's Dr. Peter Dingle's Gut Secrets. It'll change your life. But what the... Um, like if you're in a Westfield, Arendelle or something, or Chermside, you've got 800 shopkeepers all doing their different things. And we know that the microbiome is responsible for doing so many biological processes. It, it, it affects hormone levels. It affects all these different things, all these different biochemical responses. And if you get an overgrowth of things like candida, clostridia, E. coli, um, you know, it can do real damage because it suppresses the good guys. And it's like, it's, it's imagine if the security guards in uh, in your Westfield Carindale with, with the you know the Hell's Angels or something mm -hmm. like it's going to go stuff pretty fast, and and sending in the good guys the good bacteria is like throwing in you know your riot police that are in there to just keep everything like properly under control to let all the good guys do it. So it's it's not that it's that those two strains are designed to suppress and push out the bad guys, which sometimes and it's not. It's only common if people are like really unwell or have had a lot of antibiotics. You can find that they'll take a probiotic, and and again, I'm, uh, and it would have a what you call like a, like a, a healing crisis. Like it's like man, I'm feeling worse and terrible and whatnot. And the reason for that is, um, again, the lectures John speaks it out much better than I do. But he, it's like well, you get what's called a Herxheimer reaction, like a, a mini healing crisis, and it's because things like. E. coli, crossfitty, all of these nasty gut bugs, when they die, they spill out their, 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 their contents of the cell. And it's a lot of them are neurotoxins and, and they can, you know, do all sorts of things to you. Uh, but it will pass. It's just like better out than in. So, and that, that did happen to me. I did experience it. So, yeah. So, another super interesting product that, you know, I've heard wonderful talks about is the EFA krill. So it used to be mm -hmm. just the essential fatty acid, but then they've changed it over to the krill. I, I cannot find another product like it. So share what you know about that one. Well, it's a, it's a blend of different things. So it's got evening primrose and a whole bunch of other really good things in there as well. Um, really good for heart health. Now that's like krill oil is something that everybody should be taking. It, it is... One, it's a sustainable product. I mean, it wouldn't matter if everyone in the world took three krill oils a day, we wouldn't be able to impact 0.01% of the, the biome of krill. So it's, and, it, and it regenerates almost instantly. So it's a very, it's a good product ethically to take, but from a point of benefit, um, 
it, it does great things for, for all of your triglyceride levels. So, and that's, that's actually available on the Modern EFA Krill fact sheet. You can go and read about that. Uh, the other thing too is it's got astaxanthin in it and that's brilliant for mental function. So just general, generally optimal uh, like function Krill oil, if you're going to take an, an oil for me, because I used to take like the, the um, fish oils, but I mean, you've got to take like six to nine of them in a day. And honestly, God, I felt like I was, I was smelling like a fish, you know, because it comes out in your skin. You don't get any of that. But not only that oil. these days, the fish, there's, you know, you don't know where the fish is from. Is it contaminated? Is there mercury plastics? There's all these questionable stuff. And I, I've, you know, sat on summits with, you know, vitamin supplements, supplements and stuff. And they're talking about they're using dead fish. You know, and then they're adding all these flavors and different things to, to mask it and that the, the fish burps, it should be a, a sign to say something's wrong with it. And you don't get any of that with krill because it is so small. And it, just to confirm, it is the Antarctic krill as well, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's, and then, um, um, Dr. McCullough has done specific reports on the uniqueness of that product um, and stability. And I love that, you know, it's, it's quite safe and stable in the world as well. It's a very, it, it's for me, it's one of those no brainers that it's like by taking it, you get all of these benefits, no downsides, and it's a very well studied product. So, I mean, when, when it comes to some of the things like krill oils and whatnot, because it's such a commonly used thing, there's great info on the fact sheet on that as to what it does for like in the randomly controlled trials and stuff. And I think. Um, it's, it's one of the four things that I, I would suggest most people will look at, which is minerals, like you, your minerals, your probiotics, your, your um, antioxidants, and your, like your oils themselves. So those, those four things. And of course, I would say you probably throw green key in there as well to keep yeah. you alkalized. But it, it does I'm generally it, working for, for cellular health, people with autoimmune yeah. conditions, that type of stuff. I'm rebuilding the cell. So my favorites yeah. is always green key because it facilitates the absorption, the minerals, yep. because we're deficient, mm -hmm. okay? Essential fatty acids, because they are essential, we can't make them and we can't make minerals either. So you must be putting them in and you're, you're not getting it from your food. I also use the multivitamin because I find we're cooking our food, the vitamins aren't in the food because of the depleted soils, what have you. So I always throw the multi. Absolutely the antioxidant, because yep. my opinion is whilst you're building levels up, you need to protect. Okay, so if your body's trying to get rid of the baddies and they're releasing their toxins, protect. Okay, and then I Spot. use the probiotics. So that's generally my, I call it base nutrition. Okay, um, and I think every yeah. human being needs some levels of that. Okay, you can dive away from that and do what we call autoimmune nutrition, but you still need your base as well. So then we go into some what? of the, um, the specialty products. Um, and there's one in particular that um, I think it was saved in the transition is the hair, skin and nails product uh, was saved for us. My clients, they love this stuff. <laughs> yeah. So it it's doesn't play should... based nutrition, but my God, can it speed up hair growth? <laughs> so the one thing I love about what you do and like anyone that knows you would appreciate this. You do your research and you, that's why I was like, you know, I've, I've enjoyed working with you for all this time because you do your homework and, and you, you don't take anything for, for face value, you do your homework. One thing that um, you kind of touched on there is one of the questions I would often get asked is, oh, what have you guys got for X, Y, Z? Like what, whatever, you know, symptom that someone's showing, I'm like, it really doesn't work like that. Just focus on making plant healthy, put in what it needs and don't worry about the rest for a bit. Give yourself 90 days and see how you feel. Um, because covering symptoms is not not wellness, not holism. It's just the symptom is there to tell you something terribly wrong. Yeah. Um, look at the whole, it's a gift. And so, like, for example, if you ongoing, if someone says to me, what should I do? What we just talked about is what what you what yeah. the major benefits are gonna come from that. Everything else is on top of that for me. Like yeah. if I'm gonna prune things back, it's it's like you, you're pruning back from the, the extras because like hair, skin and nails, that's a, that is a product that I have seen. Like I get people send me photos who start taking that of like, check out my nails and then afterwards. And it's like, man, like that's incredible. So when they tried to, because no, there's always like products are coming, products are going, like being, uh, you know, sometimes I'll get superseded or replaced. 
But hair, skin and nails has been one that they, they tried to discontinue it. And the uproar from people like wonderful customers were like, you're not taking that one. <laughs> so they've continued making it, formulate it and, and making it better. And it's, it's still to this day is a, a really good seller because it, wor- it really works. Well, I'll uh, share it does what it with says. you, um, Matt, I, I help people all over the world now. You know, we Zoom, Skype and do all sorts of things. It's not available in most other countries and it is such a unique product. When I send it to my client overseas, because I tell them to buy it from their local Modia, of course, because shipping and cheaper and what have you, uh, they can't match it. They just cannot match it. So most of the time I have to ship it from Australia you know, because yep. we cannot match that product anywhere else in the world. So it's, it's really special. It, it, it's original it, it was originally the original name of that product was called sea pill plus and it was a circuit was designed for circulation of all things wow. and Not side the effects. <laughs> with, with the side effects was improved circulation and 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 you know benefits for hair skin and nails but the um, horse chestnut being the major ingredient there's a whole bunch of other stuff too but it's um yeah remarkably cool product so uh, There's another unique have product that you have in there. Um, again, it's it's more it's an add-on for me, but it's very very special. Is the colostrum? So I think that's been around mm-hmm. for a long time as trans factor. Like I'm finding for autoimmune conditions, mm-hmm. gut healing, and what have you, it is super special. Yeah, the colostrum as a like, again holistic wellness product. So colostrum, and again, you can easily Google the benefits of what it does, right? Like it's a it's vet to be like one thing is animal husbandry is a good place to look for simple health solutions that actually work because other like if we i think some I heard someone once say that if we used modern modern methods of how we look after humans on animals you know your your beef bread would cost six hundred dollars because it's just so ineffective so um but you know colostrum i mean we have i work with we got two vets that i work closely with who use some of the Modair products with animals because we have pet collagen and minerals are fine with animals as a probiotics. Um, but colostrum, like if, if cows miss that, that first three days of pre-lactate fluid, it's an immune system. And so um, for just keeping yourself healthy and well, um, it is a fantastic product for, for just general wellness and well-being. Uh, that's something that I have personally taken uh, for nine years when I finally just, cause there was a lot of products to like learn about and discover. I was like, Oh my gosh, how, why does everyone not know about this stuff? Cause it's for me, it's what I personally, if I feel when you, you know, when you feel yourself getting run down or unwell or anything like that, it's what do you reach for? And for me, I used to suffer from chronic and I mean debilitating sinus and, and pressure headaches from sinus problems and upper respiratory tract infections. I got to the point where I'm like, I'm just not going to have antibiotics anymore. It was a decision that I made for myself. It's not something I necessarily recommend, but like chewing them like lollies. And I'm like, I can't keep doing this to myself. Um, and I was learning about the role of gut health. I was like, I need looking for something to boost the immune system. Cause I just sort of thought I'm sick of trying to from outside bring in things to, to conquer the bugs. It's like, I want my body to do it and, and build my immune system to do its job. And I just what I'd say to anyone is just Google and learn a little bit about colostrum because it's it's like nature's um, nature's way of boosting that up. And whenever I'm doing gut healing, you know, because we've got people coming off gluten, dairy, sugar, and they've had all these sensitivities, um, you know, it, it's one of the first things that that I go to and, and get spectacular results with. So another, um, and this I guess is a newer, I guess, is uh, the liquid bio cell and the collagens. I know it's been there for a while, but people are just learning about the collagen and the power you know, of collagen. Every cell needs it. People don't understand. It's not just a beauty product. Um, so well, sure. we talk a bit about the nutritional supplementation. But you know, I want to finish yeah. off today by talking about the brand new skincare that they've put the collagen into the skincare science, which I'm so excited about. Yeah. So, so think of co- co- so collagen first. What is it? It's a it's the most abundant protein in your body. So you've heard the oh, we're, we're like 67 percent water. It's like that's true. And we're about 37, about 30 percent collagen. So like we are, our bones are collagen. Your skin is. And if you want to have a look at 
uh, why we age, it's because our production of collagen, it's one of the major reasons we age, is the production of collagen is decreasing. Now, if you've seen multiple different people, so you can stand like, if you went and got, say, 10 people aged 65 and stood them all in a line, you can have dramatic differences in how they've aged. Yeah. And there's a, a number of factors that, one, of course, is what your, your supplement and nutrition, of course, what your base genetic expression is. But there's things that will deplete collagen faster. Uh, things like smoking will do it. Uh, Alcohol is not a great thing. Like there's a lot of stuff that, you know, your collagen's depleting anyway. And so the real fountain of youth is how can I boost that and supplement that in our diet? Now, we've been doing this, believe it or not, for a very long time. Traditionally, the Egyptians used to do it. A lot of the, the Russian areas, you know, they, they would, like, they had that as part of their dietary world. And since about the 1950s, we've stopped doing that. So hence why I think you get a lot of, a lot of issues. Um, collagen is also, like, really important for joint integrity. So the, the liquid biocell is a, it's a patented molecule. It has uh, seven international patents on it. Um, and it's collagen and hyaluronic acid. So this little unique combination here. Hyaluronic acid is, if you look in the whites of your eyes and you, know, you blink, you can see there's that little sheen. That's hyaluronic acid. And it's the number one lubrication mo molecule in your body. Now, the co liquid biocell, it's got 37 human clinicals on it. So meaning one, one of the examples is for skin dryness. So in, I think they had, uh, I think it was 80 subjects, don't quote me on this, but it was like 80 subjects. They took, with no topical skincare, they took liquid biocell and within, uh, within 30 days, all skin dryness had disappeared, 100% of people. That's pretty cool. In, and we have a physio that I work with, her name is um, Steph Hughes. So she's gone through all of the different ones as well. I and mean, a lot of the, the studies on things like joint discomfort, joint mobility, range of movement, and there was significant improvements. So the reason why it works so well is that it's a, a type two collagen, type two. Now there's three types, type one and type three. So a lot of your marine collagens, you're looking at type one and three. Type two is the only one that's gonna get into your joints. So the other ones might make your, your skin look better or you might feel generally better, but you won't get that benefit. So it's a, a patented, very unique product there. And the goal is to get back to having maximal collagen levels. Now, when it comes to, to, um, to how you should use it, I, I, and I'm sure you do this too. In fact, I know you do this, minimum 90 days. Like you're, you're gonna, you won't really see full benefits of how it's going to help for 90 days. Now, um, for, for skin, right? Because that's what a lot of people like, oh, I want to look and feel younger and better and all of that. Your, your body does this thing where, where it's getting supplementation is it's triage. It's going to go to the most important areas first. Your arteries, veins, all, all these parts of your body are made up of collagen. So it's the, the last thing in your, maybe for you, the first thing is I want to look good, but for your body, it's actually last on the list. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's last. So you can be hitting it at both sides is internally, taking collagen um, and proofs in the pudding. A lot of people like feel better from doing that. Um, one of the most interesting things from collagen supplementation is they have a pet range. Now I have a 10 year old cat. We gave that to my cat named Spiggle and the cat is all of a sudden playful again and happier and lots of improvements noticed on the cat. My mother has three little schnauzers. They, their fur went back to being a, a normal, like they went from salt and pepper gray to almost black again. So amazing. just again, anecdotal, it, 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 people noticed it. You know, it's one of the things why so much confidence came in into the biocell range is because a lot of people do have pets and they're like, oh, I might try that on animals. And, and there's no placebo with pets. They either are better or they ain't. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but uh, so, um, with the collagen skincare, so, so liquid biocell, um, that is an award-winning range all by itself, but the cell-proof skincare in March this year, so March 20, we're still 2020, March 2020, that actually won Editor's Choice, but I think it was Clean and Green Innovative, Innovative Skincare. So it was a highly coveted award and they won it because it's a cosmetic grade collagen and it's got all you know, wonderful peptides and all sorts of things. And they now have this entire 
collagen range where you can be taking it internally, which will give you a whole bunch of other benefits. But at the same time, if you want to speed the, the process up is you can use it externally as well. And they've got a whole, they've got a really good, at least in Australia, I don't know about other markets, but in Australia we have on the website, you'll notice it's called the Inside Out Skincare Collection, I think. And what that actually gives is it's the collagen and the three major products themselves. But you save, I think, nearly a hundred, it's over a hundred dollars. It's almost like you're getting the collagen for free and you get this amazing award-winning skincare that once people start using it, they tend to stick with it because it's incredible value. Like, um, and it works. It really does work. Oh, I love it. I've been using it from the beginning. Like new products come out. I get excited and I try it and you actually see a difference. And that's the thing. I mean, I love their skincare before. It was great. But now I'm seeing a physical difference, you know, in my skin. And yeah, yeah I continue, obviously, to, to take my collagen. We, um, that we all want to stay the same age we are, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hey, listen, we've all got that little bit of a vanity, Gene. I do. <laughs> so I guess we've covered so much today. So it's really, you know, it's most of our favourite things. But Mo Deer have all, you know, household products as well, personal care products. I say to my clients, you know, you've got to learn about these toxic ingredients. But if it's one thing, when you run out of it, when you repurchase, can you please buy something safe? And that's why I send them to my dear, because you know, then they can use you know, their toothpaste, their dishwashing liquid, their hand wash. There's now a, a surface cleaner. You know, you're always adding to it and it is, it's affordable. It's the same price as trying to buy an organic safe product from Woolworths. It really is. The, the, we, when it comes to like, it's making that swap to safe. And in Australia, when you become a customer with Modair, they will send you a, a full catalog every single time. And what I encourage people to do, because we get a lot of people who, who jump on a program we have for, for like body transformation. And, and I say, look, just make this one to safer. And, and doing that, it just, it's a decision that's easy to do. And you're getting award-winning products, just swap it, swap it across and try it. If it turns out that you don't like it, well, the worst thing is you can swap back, but you might be like me and I discovered, holy heck, there's an amazing toothpaste that it is the world's, Number like so the first environmental working group certified oral care line like award winning, you, you know, laundry powder, all these sorts of things where it's not like one special thing. It's that it drops that cumulative load right down, and like yeah, it, it's it's definitely worth doing. And considering it really doesn't cost any more, and if you're already buying quality products, it doesn't cost you any more. And it's that peace of mind of like I'm just getting safe products, and they're delivered right to your door. And it's almost like set and forget. You can order them off your phone. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's why it's easy for me. I'm on there ordering anyway, so I may as well get my washing powder from there and know and know that it's safe. So I just want to share, you know, how how we work and a lot of your practitioners are working with Modia these days is that we introduce the client to the Modia and I will choose for my customer what products they need based on blood tests, what's wrong with their hair, scalp or what have you. It's not just a random blanket thing, you know, that, that I work with. So I work with Modia as a practitioner. So the client comes to me, we decide what they may use and I give them very, very specific instructions when to take it, how to take it. You know, I write it down, I've got videos. So I know the products are great and they have a general description. I'm like, no, I want you to use it my way for absorption, et cetera. So we're next level. So once I have the client set up and they know how to use it, then my dear have given me this wonderful code. So I give the client a code and then the customer can go direct to my dear. And instead of paying my retail price, because I am, you know, I'm in a retail you know, clinic environment, they can buy direct. So now they have the most amazing product. It's safe. They know how to use it. They know when to use it. And now they're buying direct at the best price. Now you just can't yeah. find that in any other range. So that's another reason why I'm, so excited to be with my dear and have obviously stayed with you for so long. It, it, I'm very grateful to have you because I've got to say, it's nothing like you, the values are very aligned. And I love how you're always like, it's, you know, you're in a, you're in an industry too, that is, is not necessarily holistic most of the time for, no. for <laughs> uh, how, how they, cause I've been, <laughs> I've seen it and I, I love how you're always putting the, health of the individual first and trying to not only just you know help them solve a specific problem but walk away and be much better in the long term 
uh, for it. So it's, I, I love what you do and, and support it wholeheartedly. It's really Thanks, good. Matt. And it's really interesting, your analogy of the plant. I give that to my clients all the time. But the hair grows out of the human. So the human in this situation is the plant. So <laughs> yeah. if we don't have the healthy yeah. plant, then we're not going to have healthy um, hair, scalp or, or, or skin. So, you know, I guess I've been forced down this pathway, but it really works. And, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I help people. Uh, and I get great results. And that's what matters. You know, and that's where my dear, you know, super helpful. So we've gone way over time. We, I thought we'll just have a quick 20 minute chat. We're nearly up to an hour now. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, I've got so many more questions, but let's just do this again. Put this out and let people Sorry, know. Welcome questions. You know, um, I'm going to put my email address on there. So if they have any questions about any of the products, I'll, um, I'll send them your way. So, um, Sounds great. Thanks so much again for sharing. It's been wonderful. All right. Um, yeah, we'll talk soon. Awesome. All right. Bye for now.